niece Rosella. I've been staying at the Bishop's Lodge in Santa Fe, New Mexico for my health. Taking the waters and the clean mountain air is good for my condition, according to my doctor. My drawing to club took the train a bit up north to a place called Las Vegas recently that has a fine teacher's college for young people from what I've heard. My drawing club stayed at a grand place. It's called the Montezuma Hotel. Do you still want to teach school? I am enclosing some advertisements about the Harper's Bazaar article concerning the Teacher's Normal School located in Las Vegas. Lots of love, Auntie Charlotte. Dear Aunt Charlotte, I am on the train going to my new school in Las Vegas and feeling so lucky. It's a beautiful day and I keep seeing more and more little waterfalls falling out of the mountainsides as we climb up higher. One of the ladies hosts a quilting group in her boarding house here. I attend and we all told ghost stories and drink lemonade and ate little white dusted pecan cookies called bizcochitos. I've also joined the tennis club here at school. One of the young men there asked to accompany me to the picnic next week. The picnic is hosted by the merchants for the normal college students at Montezuma Castle. Everyone from the school was dressed in their finest and went to the trolley cars for a short ride to the Montezuma Castle. Courses of every kind awaited us. There were so many types of new foods to try. I tried both red and green chilies and I think I'm rather brave. They were very flavorful but didn't burn either. I also had a yummy flatbread and cowboy beans. They also provided musicians from towns for our enjoyment. They were marvelous performers and they knew songs in both English and Spanish. It was magical wandering music so soulful and cheerful. My companion told me the words meant the many colors, colors of the spring for us all to enjoy. Some of the more adventurous students even swam in the dammed up lake. Someone told them not to and that's when they started practicing diving too. Most of us watched from the sidelines and cheered on the scantily clad daredevils. Some of the more refined ladies who don't trust fishy waters swam in the pool near the hotel instead of the lake. After hearing tales of killer leeches in the lake nibbling toes, I for one am sure glad we did. There were some gentlemen giving donkey rides farther up the range to the next hamlet of El Porvenir and its well-known scenic waterfalls. Everyone agreed the waterfall springs from the rocks in El Porvenir were worth the journey to see them. Some of our professors even took their little ones up there in wooden crates mounted on the sides of the donkeys. The babes got a nap and seemed quite content swinging to and fro on their ascent. We had ice cream in July thanks to the ice house packed with the straw they are housing the ice cut from the lake last winter time. So cool and peppermint flavored like a candy cane. I read mint helps to settle the stomach. After all the chili I ate, I needed the coolness. Falls were mighty grand to see. Glory that the photographs can never completely capture. I've even heard that the school is planning a winter trip to skate on the lake when the weather gets colder. I saw all kinds of wildlife, even some of the biggest jackrabbits and mountain rats I've ever seen. This sure is a long way from the Central Park Zoo in New York, but that doesn't mean we can't enjoy a good zoo just the same. There's a variety of petting zoo animals at the castle and even a few real bison. As the sun sank slowly in the west, the temperature dropping fast told us our departure was ruefully drawing nigh. By late afternoon, we waited in a few tents as the trolley cars took loads of people back to town. The chilly evening was just taking hold when our trolley car reached its destination. The desert air really makes everyone around here truly appreciate a hot evening supper by the fireplace even in the middle of summer. The streetcars took us straight to the power and light company and the streetcar barn. The cars run on electric power in portable batteries and are very futuristic. 
even though my boarding house doesn't have electric light or heat, it felt so warm and cozy to be home again. All that traveling wears me out, but I know I'll sleep well at least in front of the wood stove. Good night, dear sweet family, your adventurous student teacher, Rosella. Muchas gracias.